So my wife asked me to go to the container store. So I'm hoping this is what she meant. We'll see. Hello everyone, my name is DJ and welcome back to Yankee Dabbler where every day is a train show and today we have some special products that we like to showcase so hopefully you can put them on your own layout. Alright, we got these first items that we're going to be taking a look at here are these Atlas 89 foot flat cars. And these are really neat looking cars especially if you want something that's a little bit more modern. As you can see I have all the detailing and in case you want to add some more we do have a whole baggie full of parts so that's a fun afternoon put that all together but it's going to get you a, a really nicely detailed car um we have the ttx as you just saw we have the ap lx we got the great northern Nice striking blue color, and then of course we got the Burlington Northern there. We got all the primary colors here, and what I really like about these cars here, as you know me, I like nice quality. These are actually die-cast metal cars, so if you feel these, it's actually all die-cast metal, which is really nice. I have the metal wheels. These things glide like a champ. They do a great job. So if you want to put some realistic-looking cars of things that you see today on the railroad, this is probably a good bet for you, okay? As I said, we have the detailing parts here, and, of course, you can put some trailers in here. For example, we got these Ather and 20-foot reefer containers that you could put on here. Whatever you really want to put on there, they really give it a nice uh bizazz to make it look like a real thing on your layout now these cars retail for 54 dollars, but we're selling them in yankee dabbler for 37.77 again we have a whole bunch of different um road names road numbers uh really neat cars to add to your uh your collection so come on down to yankee dabbler and come check them out all right so we're going to be looking at a few atlas diesel locomotives here and we got uh some from the atlas trayman gold series we got the uh, Atlas GP38-2 Reading and Northern diesel locomotive and this is a great looking engine I'm actually a big fan of the Reading and Northern and I've actually seen this one before so here are the Reddings for today Uh, but this is a great looking engine there if you want a pretty economical um, design locomotive from Atlas to put on your railroad that has ESU, uh, DCC sound, all the fun stuff that we expect from Atlas. That is a great engine to get. And of course, then we also have the Norfolk Southern. And this is a classic black and white design. I love the yellow on the handrails there. And believe it or not, the Reading and Northern actually just purchased a whole bunch of Norfolk Southern diesel locomotives. So you could get both of them and pretend like you own the railroad up there and kind of uh, model it in real time, so to speak. So these diesel locomotives actually sell for $245, but we're selling them at Yankee Dabbler for $169.99. That's right. $169.99 that is a great deal. You're getting a really great looking locomotive that has all the features that you expect from the high end um, models that are out there. And you know what we like to do on this show? We like to hear what these things sound like. So let's fire them up. All right, let's start her up. All right, here is the horn. Here's the bell. And away we go. Pulling my all Atlas train. And then we're going to reverse it. 
the opposite direction here. So that is a great looking locomotive, and as I said, if you ever go to the Running Orange, you can actually see the 2012 pulling some passenger uh, freight trains out of it. Alright, scale train time, we got some wonderful looking SD45-2s to take a look at right here. And we're going to start right here with the Norfolk and Western 1776. Of course, this was the engine that was created for the Bicentennial back in 1976, and it's a great design. As a matter of fact, you can actually still see this engine at the Virginia Museum of Transportation in Roanoke. I've seen it. It's a spectacular engine, and it's a really neat design. Then, of course, I have the more traditional uh, freight-style Norfolk and Western engine. That's kind of like this dark blue here, uh, the 1771. And this is a great-looking engine because I, I personally like these high-hood engines because you got the bell up top there. You got the detailing there. Of course, you got all the vents and everything, as you come to expect from um, scale train products here. So that is a great-looking engine there. Speaking of great looks, we got the Conrail. And I don't know anyone that doesn't like the Conrail Blue. Now, of course, this is the low hood version. And uh, again, just all the standard things that you expect from scale trains. Uh, this is a great looking design. And there's something about that blue on your railroad. It really strikes out. And then finally, we have here the Burlington Northern. And the neat thing about this engine here is I have the little beacon up top. So it actually strows when we uh, run that. So that is a great little addition, a little subtle features that they put on these locomotives here. So it's a great little feature to kind of separate and differentiate these engines from the others because each railroad had their own little uh, modifications that they put on their these locomotives. All right, one of the neat features that are also on these locomotives is the different classification lights. As you can see, I don't have any on them now, but if I hit the button on my remote here, I got the white classification light, and the white usually indicated that it was an extra train, a train that wasn't regularly scheduled, that got thrown on the uh, timetable for whatever reason. I got my next color here, which is the green, and green usually indicated a regularly scheduled train. And then I can have the red, and red usually indicates that you're at the rear of the train, all right? So, and what's really neat about these is all of these diesel locomotives that you see in the picture right here actually have that on both sides. And then the Conrail is a little bit different because Conrail has to be different. That one actually has red on the back and then the ones in the uh, front actually change colors. So that is a, again, a neat little subtle variation that the different railroads did on their locomotives. How awesome is that? I recommend y'all get four just to experience that. Alright, so you notice I got the green classification lights on here. I'm gonna quiz you. If you know what the green lights mean, comment on the YouTube page. Alright, I also have this engine going backwards because I just like the way that uh, blue looks leading off. All aboard.
That is a great sounding engine, and especially in those colors, I don't think you can beat that red, white, and blue bicentennial look. So come down to Yankee Dabble and come get it before it's no longer here. So I got the bicentennial engine here. I should mention that the regularly scheduled price for a uh, regularly scheduled. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I got the Bicentennial Diesel Locomotive here, and I should mention that the retail price for these engines are $340, but we're selling them a Yankee Dabbler. The low hood versions were selling for $279, and for the high hood version, the Bicentennial one, that's $5 more, simply because you got a lot more uh, detailing in the paint scheme. Thank you very much for watching. If you're not already subscribed to Engineer Hall, make sure you click that subscribe button, and we'll see you again next time on What's Doing Yankee Dabbler, where, as you can see, Every day is a train show. Take care, everyone.